Hello, fellow YouTubers. Sorry about the messy shop. Not really allowed to use any uh, power tools, so I uh, limit it to slow, slow devices. Um, nobody said I can't sharpen tools, so that's what I do. I sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. Uh, my drill, I got that cool variable device that I can lock the throttle on. Most drills lock on full speed. This is a nice big grinding stone and I uh, tone it way down with the variable speed. So and I got my drum sharpener, drum sander, oh, diamond grit stones, sharpening blades, my treadmill motor. Um, done some upgrading to this treadmill set up to make it safer. Plug it in. It's one thing I always do is leave it unplugged. You know, um, anything that you alter may possibly be dangerous. So, it could have been dangerous to start with for all I know. Okay, so that's the treadmill control panel. And I've added a isolation center. Uh, it's just a panel of switches. Um, I took the main power off the treadmill motor and put it up on top switch, called the master. The master powers the rest of them. The second one's labeled broken stone. So now master and broken stone are on. And it really is going at a very slow speed because that that stone has cracks in it so that's one reason I've had to limit or isolate that motor because um, it it'll fall apart on me if I try and speed it up but the next switch down is the treadmill motor below which I intend to make into another sharpening device that one I can wind up for you like last video I couldn't Ninety volt DC motor uh, does sixty seven hundred RPM at uh, top speed clockwise rotation. Uh, they call it a one and a half horsepower continuous. It says two and a half horsepower here, and then one point five continuous. So I don't know. Maybe it can peak out at two. I tried that with the stone above, which I'm very lucky isn't turning. That's it, top speed. I take to the set itself a second to slow down. It's got a soft stop. I guess so you're seeing as you're on a treadmill, it doesn't stop on a dime. Again, I can switch out. And then my third output, I still have room for two more. My third output is the 12 volt accessory socket. So I wouldn't recommend plugging in uh, electronics like clocks and uh, multimeters, at all, depending on the multimeter. Um, there's electronics that run off a of 12 volt only. I would only recommend that you run something like motors or um, say 12 volt lighting but you're still going to burn out the lighting again you'll burn out the motors if you're not careful so now that's switched on this is switched on I do like to have this switched on before I turn up the, the speed because if I have the speed way up here and then I turn this thing on it'll it'll just burn out on me bring out this motor but I don't want any. I'm 
now we're actually at the speed that I like to use. I only sped that up for you guys to show you that I do have a lot of control over this. my third output. Shut it off. Turn off the master. Where am I? There I am. And I did bring the flashlight to show you the underside of the treadmill. going to unplug it because we're not going to be using it now. A little tight squeeze here. Turn on the flashlight. Got a shelf down here for my tools and then underneath room for you know other stuff. And I've taken the electronics from the treadmill. Um, just basically took a screwdriver and a wrench, took them off, and then moved them all over to my bench over here. I've had them on a couple of different benches, but uh, anyways, I've got it up in behind the panel so when you're up you don't actually see it. This is all, all this ugly stuff is normally all covered up on the treadmill behind the panels so um, yeah I've ad added and turned this thing into a bench grinder instead. There's the wiring. Each one of the uh, switches has a fuse. You got a fuse on the main one coming in. Say you're running too many stones or something at once you'll blow the fuse or you know you've got anything that goes wrong could potentially blow the fuse and, and solve a or stop a potential fire so fuses are good 